voyeurism. That's how I found my art, by watching people. My creativity comes from my experience with friends, strangers, situations, good or bad, and just hearing people's stories. An understanding uh, about human condition of love, romance, finding love, discordance in whatever relationship it is, whether it's a friendship or a marriage or a lack of who you are or f trying to find yourself or not trying to find yourself and being comfortable with who you are. Everything I've done, I always think there's more to do. I can do it better than that. And I never think, I've never been satisfied with, I've done it. I haven't, I haven't never got to that stage yet. Maybe that's what spurs me on to keep going. I'm happy about the things that I've done, but I've never think, oh, I've done it, I've achieved it, that's it. It goes back to my childhood, when my mum was taking me to infant school, and this guy comes up to my mum and goes, what a beautiful looking girl. And my mum literally, I remember my mum pulling me behind her and went, He's not a girl. The guy was like, oh, 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 it's very pretty. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. And on my birth certificate as well, there's no sex, which is quite hilarious. Because as you can look at me, I'm a guy. But on my birth certificate, they forgot to fill in male or female. It's, it's empty. And I always asked my parents about that, and they went, oh, it's a mistake. Maybe they forgot to write it in. Why? <laughs> 